I'll get the door. You okay? Uh, yeah. You've opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Quit it, the pair of you. Gonna bring more of them down on us. I'll see if I can find a way in. Bust through that. No way we're gonna force that open. Not without making a lot of noise, at least. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We could just figure out how to get in. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest. But I don't think talking about my feelings right now is gonna help us get inside this house. How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seen it. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. Yeah. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again, it won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's, it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. Looks like something was buried here. to doghouse. Not thirsty enough to drink that yet. Shovel is never not useful. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right. So, where's the dog? Hey, be careful. 
Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Whatever it is, it's been here a while. You, I can smell it from here. Gross! Clementine, honey, come sit with me in Omid. Let Lee work. Oh, God, the smell. Must have belonged to someone. <clears throat> Can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Jesus. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Here goes nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. It's no good. I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Clem, are you okay? Say something! Ta-da! Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. I did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in. No, it's okay. I'm good. Feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that, and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. And I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I think we could all use a little time to rest up and gather our thoughts, Kenny. At least until those walkers outside wander off and Omid's feeling better. He best feel better quick. I ain't gonna wait around here too long.
place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Chris and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. All empty. I should finish checking the house before heading back outside. Nothing. Water's off. No power. cleaned out. Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. I'm not that hungry. Signs I need to finish checking the downstairs. What happened? It's nothing. Just, uh, nothing. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Not exactly my style. That's the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? No, just some dog food. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. 
It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clown. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. 